Hi everyone, my name is Talia and I'll be talking about Binan Koko episode 9. Now, this episode for me personally was kind of boring. I felt like nothing too much happened. It seems like the student council got nowhere again, although they started talking about like we need more development and we need to find out who the enemy is. So when they talked about that in the beginning of the episode, I thought, yes, they might actually get somewhere in this episode, but they didn't. So <laughs> when I saw the end of the episode, I was like, well, okay that happened and it kind of seemed like the guys from the student council aren't too bothered either the only one who cares a lot about the enemy and all that seems to be Zindar <laughs> who is amazing I, I like him he's a very uh, cute but like dangerous animal character and you know I, he's entertaining I like him but you know, student council got nowhere with their villain in this episode. I felt like the villain was also not that impressive like they've had in other episodes. It wasn't as entertaining. It was just a guy who was self-conscious about himself and... I don't know, I didn't see like, why, why does this guy need so much love? I was wondering about that, but... Anyways, yeah, like I said, I wasn't too entertained by this guy and the only thing that was good about the episode for me was like the whole photo shoot with the press society because the press society actually got, you know, somewhere. They got a bit further than they were before. They got pictures. Then again, they're not 100% sure yet that they are the magical boys. That's what I think. Um, I think they just assume it that they are but they just don't have any evidence because they don't have any pictures uh, with their... I think with their heads they don't have any pictures because they might actually have pictures with their outfits on but then again like the faces are censored so it should be like that in pictures as well, right? So yeah, I don't know. Still kind of thinking about that. I'm not too sure. I can't really remember. Anyways, it's it did seem that the press society was the only one who kind of got a little bit further and that that fish that they have he looks at you with like the evil eye the whole time but he hasn't spoken yet so yeah like i said for me the only entertaining part was the photo shoot because we saw some like references from anime as well and i think i saw like kill a kill and fate zero because i thought like the priest was maybe like a reference to fate zero not too sure but you know it kind of looked like it yeah, I don't know. I, I enjoyed that because the guys were actually getting excited to get their photos taken. <laughs> well, some of them. Not all of them, obviously. But yeah, and the little jokes in the episode I enjoyed as well, as always. But overall, this episode was kind of like, meh. You know, they can do better than this. I'm not gonna say I'm looking forward to the next episode. I'm just kind of curious what they will do with the next episode and the ones after that because... Yeah, no idea. Like, I have no idea at the moment if there will be any development when it comes to the student council and the press society. It seems like in the beginning of the series they just gave the student council a lot more attention than they do now since the press society is there as well. Leave your thoughts in the comments about this episode. Did you like it or not? Did you have the same feels like me that it was kind of like, eh, not as good as the other ones? You know, we did have that shocking episode two episodes ago, so I was kind of hoping to get another one, but maybe, maybe next episode, we can only hope. That is it for my review of episode 9 of Binan Coco. I will be back next week with another review. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon. Bye.